Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automate EQ in FL Studio, and this should be able to translate pretty well to some other DAWs as well. I'll show you why this is useful as well, but starting off we do have the sample that we're going to automate this on, and for reference that sounds a little bit like this. Right, so just like some pretty guitar atmospheric stuff. And you see up here, we've gone and moved that over to a mixer track, in this instance, track three. So on mixer three, we're gonna open up an EQ. I'm gonna use the FL Studio stock one, just that way you could easily follow along, especially if you don't own like Pro Q3 or something I usually use. And we are going to set up whatever kind of EQ we want. So I'm thinking over here, we're going to do a steep low pass, something like this. And let's say we wanted to automate it so that over time it would start like maybe over here and then it opens up, giving you a sound like this. There's a couple of ways to do this, and I'll show you maybe two of them right now that are really fast and easy. So the first thing you want to do for option number one is move that point around just a little bit. It doesn't matter where you put it, you can move it to the start position if you want, that's really helpful. But you wanna make sure after you move it, you don't hit anything else, because what you're actually gonna do is in the top left of FL Studio, there is a button called Tools, you want to hit that, and this menu is going to come up, I have to screenshot it because it doesn't come up in the video itself. But then at the very bottom of this, there's an option for Last Tweaked, and then Create Automation Clip. This is basically FL's way to create automation clips on things that don't have them come up as an option if you've right-clicked them. So now, you could do a shape like this, so it's starting here, and it's slowly moving to this position, and if I open that EQ, you could see it happen, like so. that very very useful to get it set up like that and another thing you could do we'll do this with another point you could actually record automation and then move it around while it's playing and it will keep it back like that when you replay you press the record button at the top of fl studio a menu will come up and just hit notes and automation and then when you hit play it's going to go ahead and record these watch this Right now I'm just moving this one around, not really doing anything in particular. Like that. And we'll stop it. And you see we've gotten this automation data at the bottom now. So when we hit play normally, without like recording anything, that data is now in there. So that's good if you want to do it in like a very humanized way, super useful for that. And we've also got our previous one that we've recorded with the automation clip down here. Super easy to get that set up, I hope this video has helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future content from me, but thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.